The Sacramento Rail Fair held in May 1991 was organized to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the Californian State Railroad Museum and attracted visitors from all over the world, including a couple of steam locomotives from Great Britain. Locomotives of all ages were represented, one of the older ones being the Bear Harbor Lumber Company No. 1, built in San Francisco in 1892. It was, however, the big locos that attracted most attention, and they don't come much bigger than Challenger No. 3985. Not far behind, though, is Union Pacific 484 number 844, weighing in at around 405 tons. Built in 1944 for fast freight and passenger work, it was preserved upon withdrawal and is now based at Cheyenne. Back to the Challenger, a 4664 mallet. At a weight of 478 tons, it's the world's largest operational steam locomotive. Withdrawn in 1949 after only 16 years' service, it was stored as a static exhibit until 1981, when it was restored to working order and converted to oil burning in 1990. Diesel power was also represented, including the famous Centennial. The two British locos shipped over for this event were the replica Locomotion and Ivert, class J52, number 1247. Another replica was Tom Thumb the 1829 original being the first to pull passengers in North America. The sun doesn't always shine in California, and to prove the point, heavy rain was the order of the day as Challenger and 844 returned to their base on a special working. The mighty Feather River Canyon was an ideal setting in which to see the special. Indeed, equally impressive was one of the gigantic freights under eight-headed diesel power, which are a regular feature here. However, rain and low cloud cover made further photography virtually impossible. And in the event, only one shot was obtained near the end of the day and in almost dark conditions. It was well worth the wait, though. The sight and sound of close on 1,000 tonnes of steam locomotive and 22 coaches forging its way up the valley was an experience not to be missed.
The second day of the return working was made through the Nevada desert in much improved weather conditions. And the special is seen here just after emerging out of a tunnel at Reno Junction. The fine sight of these impressive locos working through the desert was a fitting end to a memorable event and a testimony to the depth and quality of the preservation movement in the USA. That's all from Making Tracks this week. In the next program, Working Steam will be featured and we'll start by going to the former East Germany to see some of the narrow gauge lines still in existence. We'll also be visiting the fascinating and colourful country of Ecuador to see one of the world's great lines, still steam operated by an ageing fleet of Baldwin locomotives. The program will be coming from the North Yorkshire Moors Railway, one of the longest and most scenic preserved lines in the country. And we'll also have our regular feature on mainline steam. Until next week, goodbye. Goodbye. And in fact, you can see that programme tomorrow afternoon at the usual time, 1.45.